Hi guys. As you can see, it's really bright. Anyways, hi. Today we're gonna read Treetop Twins Wildest Adventures. This is the twins meet a quagga. So yeah, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and click the like. And ring the notification bell, and let's get started. So you don't miss any of our videos. So yeah. Let's start it. The sun beat down on the sizzling savannah, the edge and the grass hound with buzzy insects. The treetop family have taken their time machine and traveled back into to the eighteenth century to the grassland of South Africa. I wish I had a time machine. One bright blue day big twin Haifa and Aisha were looking after the little twins, Sula and Ted. Their parents, Professor Pablo and P Professor Pablo, were taking a nap. When the professors woke up, Jita and I were going to spend their evening in a nearby waterhole to see what animals were living in Africa savanna. At that time, there would be cheetahs. Today. And ostrich. Ostrich said, awful. And lions and elephants said, Ted, don't forget the unicorns. Said, Tulip, don't be silly. Laughed Ted, only babies believe in unicorns. Uh, yeah. Which made Tulip very uh, I'll show them another baby, said Tulip to herself. I'll go down to the water hole and look for unicorns on my own. I don't believe in unicorns, too. So when the others weren't looking, Tula decided to walk to the water hole by herself. She found a hill to hide behind and took over out of sight. From her hiding place, she spotted an ostrich and a wild beast. A herd of creatures she never seen before. Tula couldn't see them properly, but they were some. Um, they were some. Uh, they were some trees, in the way the way. The sign they looked a bit like horses, but they were much smaller, so they much must be unicorns. The two of I knew it. Meanwhile, he and Asia had noticed two was missing. They woke up Professor Donald and Professor Pablo, and they all hurried to the water hole. They crept. A very salty is not to not disturb the animals and appeared over to her. I'm sorry I called you a baby, whispered Ted. And I'm sorry I ran out without you telling where I was going, which were to look. But look, I did find some unicorns. Just then one of the strange creatures turned her dumb and it had it did not have a horn. said Tula, feeling very disappointed. It isn't a unicorn after all, but it had something else. Interesting, it has stripes, but not all over it. It's on its front half. It's a koala, said Professor Sir Penhoff. It's about the size of a zebra, with stripes only on the front of its half body. What is a koala? Was to open the koala, opened it in its mouth, and it made a koala. That must be why, grinned Ted. The caucus had made that noise for a reason. There were three beautiful golden lines padding towards the water hole. The line proud closer, but the caucus had already been alert. What? They ran, has all ran away, all except for the one, a baby who couldn't run quite fast enough. Oh no, quite but they were going to catch it. But then something amazing happened. A great big wild beast saw the baby koala was in trouble. If he ste it stepped forward and forward and shook its enormous horn at the lions, and the lions were scared. And uh, it was their turn to run away. Why did the big wildest beast say the baby koala? We all 
Look after the babies, even if we're not, if it's not ours. There's yeah, a precious arm punch around to it. Ah, oh, baby, it's too up. But she smiled and hugged it anyways. And then the treetop family walked back home through the cooling grass of dinner. Next time in the savannah, Professor Pablo was putting the twins to bed. I'm so glad we strolled back in time to meet the quaggas, who had drawn a picture of one of her, one of it, and one of it in her notebook. And you said Professor Pablo, turning the lights off. Sorry, it wasn't even going to work, but it was. Almost as good. I wondered what year and what place we had traveled to see a unicorn situation. So one day I'll find you and just wait and see. So this is what. One sec. This is what the quagga actually looks like. The quagga was about the size of the zero, but had tried on a. And you guys can read this. By yourself. Maybe you can even scan this code here. Yeah. Anyways, the, the book is over. The book is over, and we have a great day. Bye.